Hey guys, hello, it's a Wednesday and I just wanted to check in. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video and I just wanted to say hello and kind of give you a couple of updates. So first of all, uh, thank you so much for all the prayers that you're sending our way. Um, I do have to ask that you continue to do so. Um, the situation that a lot of you do know about it. I have a, a family member who is sick and is in need of prayers for healing, for peace, uh, for you know all that comes with it. And um, yeah, for the rest of the family too. It's it's a struggle right now, and um, the light at the end of the tunnel is is very small right now. But as we get near closer to the end of the tunnel, it'll get bigger, and we know it. But it's just yeah I'm not gonna share a lot of details because really it's not my story to tell but the good thing is that God doesn't need to know our details does he he doesn't need to know the details when you're praying for someone because he knows us he knows me he knows you he knows my family member who is sick and all you need to do to pray for somebody is to mention their name to utter their name and their need for prayer for a special touch from him and he will deliver he's faithful and he will deliver if you just mention our name and I ask that you would do that for us please and I thank you for any positivity any prayers any good vibes any of those things that you have sent to us in the past because it's working it's sustaining and it's working and we're gonna get there um, I just also wanted to um, let you know that Aside from maybe a video tonight, including this one, maybe one other, um, I won't be posting any videos for the weekend because I am flying to Chicago, Chicago. Yes, I'm leaving on Friday to fly to Chicago. I am so excited. I get to see my sister from another mister, Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe's from Canada and she is my sister she's not a blood sister but she's my sister but i get to see her and her two little ones that aren't so little anymore they're getting big but i'm gonna hang out with her all weekend and another one of my friends from north carolina jen is coming up and we're gonna hang some with her and another sister from um, another mister that's a mouthful <laughs> uh jen who actually lives right outside of chicago um, she's gonna come see us and we're gonna spend some time with her and hopefully one or two of her little ones that aren't so little anymore <laughs> and our other sister from another mister Denise who lives in Ohio fingers crossed prayers all that stuff that she will be able to get away for a few hours and come see us for a little while over the weekend as well a little story about about myself and Bobby Joe and Jen and Denise real fast for you social media so often comes with a negative connotation nowadays but honestly there's a lot of good in it and these three ladies that I mentioned my sisters from another mister well from multiple misters yeah <laughs> they are something very good that came out of social media we met through Twitter and I mean it we met through Twitter of all places Without social media, I never would have met the three of these ladies who are going to be a part of my life for the rest of my life. We met only because of our shared love of a Walking Dead character. Her name is Carol. And we started chatting on Twitter one day, and the rest is history. We check in with each other daily. We vacation together. Our families have vacationed together. Our kids know each other. And the rest is history. I love them. And that's a positive side of social media. So that is what I'm doing this weekend is I'm getting together with some girls. And some of us are going to Ace Comic Con where we will be meeting some Game of Thrones celebrities. I'm going to meet Jon Snow and I'm going to meet uh, Brienne of Tarth. And I'm going to, I'm going to meet Thor. I know he's not on Game of Thrones, but Lord, ladies, he is some hot stuff. I can't wait. I wonder what he smells like. I'll tell you what he smells like after this weekend, okay? Okay, now plans for the channel. 
um, in the next few weeks, I have uh, I have a Dollar Tree, a very short shop with me. I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of what my stores have been putting out. Woo, showing the girls there. <laughs> what my trees, what my trees, what my stores have been putting out lately for Christmas. And the few things that I've bought lately for Christmas from the Dollar Tree. And I have a few things that I bought lately from Walmart for Christmas decorations. So I'm gonna probably do a video on that. I have, by the time I get home, I'll have another BoxyCharm unboxing to do. So that's makeup and skincare stuff. If you didn't already know this about me, I enjoy making jewelry, you know, in all of my spare time that I have. <clears throat> so I belong to a monthly jewelry box, jewelry, bead box there we go so I think I might do a little unboxing video of those beads too they're really pretty and so I think I'll share that with everyone the other thing I have in mind is a uh, it's a skincare line that I was turned on to maybe a year ago or so and I just love it it is crap free hint hint it has no chemicals in it. It's all natural products. It's vegan. It's cruelty free. It is made here in the United States. It is a small entrepreneurial company. And what more could you ask for in skincare other than all that stuff? And it works. And I'm going to do a video on it and show you some of the things that they have for sale and give you some details. So that's what I have coming up next on my channel for you, so stay tuned. Oh, and I also have the last part of my fall, autumn craft videos, that the things that I've made for the fall decor. I have a couple of wreaths that I'm still working on that I'm finishing up. So once those are finished up, I will be making the last part of my fall craft decor video for everybody. Okay, I'm going to finish this video up with one last thing. Uh, going on the theme of social media positivity. I came across a, an account last night. And his Twitter account is at, the at sign, Bill Pulte. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's B-I-L-L-P-U-L-T-E. And what... After doing some research, what he and his wife are doing is they apparently are multimillionaires. And what they are doing is over a period of time, they are going to be giving away a million dollars. That is their goal. Who knows if they'll reach it, if they'll go over it. Who knows? But he's doing it in such a, a unique way uh, with a unique goal in mind. He's doing it in very small little chunks. So he'll tweet out... Uh, randomly giving away $499 to someone who retweets this tweet the only requirement is that you follow my account okay so that's that's really all it is and so he's randomly picking people and giving money to people and it's it's legit the man was interviewed on Fox business Fox News Business Network and he told the story of how he noticed a trend in social media, especially Twitter, and that it was trending into the negative area. So his goal, after talking to his wife and she got on board 100% with him, his goal was to turn the tide of social media around. And his way of doing this was to begin to give away small amounts of money to people in need. So this is his way of doing this and it's working. So he's getting people who he's giving away money to send him stories of how he's impacting their lives and the positive change that he's bringing to them. You know, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars is changing people's lives. To him, that's a penny in the bucket. He's a multimillionaire, but to some people, five hundred dollars is a lifesaver. And he's, he's doing it. He's turning the tide. He wants to be a catalyst for change. Shouldn't we all want to be that? A catalyst for positive change? So that's what he wants to do. He wants to be the, the, the initial person to start it, but he wants it to continue. So he wants 
people to pay it forward in a sense. So I help you, then you help the next person. And I just think that that is such an inspirational thing. And it just proves that social media can be used for good. And I just found that just such an inspirational, and I say inspirational a lot, but it really is. It's, it's very, it, it's, it's just uplifting and it's positive. And the other thing that I wanted to, to, to point out, and I'll, um, I'll put his Twitter, his Twitter handle in the description. If you guys have a Twitter account and you want to go check him out, if you're in need, go follow his account and retweet his tweets. You never know. It, you, he could he might pick you and it might be the life changing event that you need to help you and then you could move on and out of your circumstance and then you could help change somebody else's life hey and here's the here's the thing if you don't have money money's not the only thing that you can give to help change somebody's perspective give a smile to somebody they might be having the worst day of their life and your smile could change the course of their day. They could go home from work in, in a great mood and their kids, you know, could have had a rotten day at school and because of your smile, their mama came home in a good mood and could lift their spirits all because of your smile. So it just keeps going on and on and on all over a smile. Smile's free. I'm just saying. The last thing that, well, second to last, is guys, feel free to cut out the toxic people in your life. Don't be a doormat. The Lord doesn't want you to be a doormat. Yeah, forgive. You can forgive and you can move on. And it doesn't mean that you're a bad person when you cut ties with toxic people. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It just means that, that you uh, love yourself enough to protect yourself that you have enough self-confidence to say, you know what, I'm not having this anymore in my life. You're bad for me and you need to go. So cut them out. Don't let them infect you anymore. You have a lot more people depending on you that need you and they don't need the toxicity that other people are bringing into your life. So feel free to cut them out, okay? Tell them Mama Ames told you, bye-bye. The very last thing I do want to say is I do appreciate all of you guys who are watching my videos, who are giving me thumbs up, who are commenting, who are sharing these videos. I love each and every one of you and you bring such joy to my life. Every time I get on YouTube and I see another thumbs up, I just get so excited. I love you guys. I appreciate you and I see you. I see every single one of you and I love you and I want you to go out there and smile at somebody and be a catalyst and be a change for somebody in this world. Be kind.